You're watching This Is Pentecost Fellowship Ministry with Pastor Tamara Bennett. Pentecost is not a denomination. It is an experience. to a virgin a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph walk with me with the word everyone of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. yes and the angel came in unto her here comes the angel and he said hail thou art highly favored and the Lord is with thee blessed are thou among women and when she saw him she was troubled at his saying, this was all happening in her mind, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt what? And behold, thou shalt what? How was she conceiving? How, how, how was she conceiving? By, 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 the, by the word of the angel. She's conceiving by a word. An angel is bringing her a word. There is no man, there is no flesh. It is just a word. You cannot see a word. God help me tonight. You can't see it, yet it has impact. When God speaks a word over our life, God help me today. He said, all I need you to do because I'm polite and because I've given you a will and I will not fight against your will. The only thing that's standing between me and you and the destiny of this word is you conceiving it. So, Mary says yes unto the Lord and the angel goes away now at that second conception took forth because she told God there are vessels that in their naiveness of serving the Lord in their in their openness to want to please him you have told God yes and when you told him yes, you conceived at that time. And because you didn't feel different right away, you didn't even realize what you conceived. You didn't even realize you were pregnant. But all of a sudden, it's all kind of crazy things happening to you. And persecution's coming your way, and you're saying, what? Now, let me tell you about something. But you remember the service. You told them, yes. You, re you remember it was a different visitation than the normal visitations. I, I, I got a few people that's here. There is a communication. There is a certain intimacy that happens between you and God that that you know something was different that time. It wasn't an Eosei on the little Baha. It wasn't a normal hallelujah like it usually is. It wasn't a normal yes, Lord. This one lasted a little longer. He, he dealt with me when I left here. I still felt his presence. I need some praise in this house. I got to work real hard, but I need some praise. I need some praise. There, there are glory carriers. And what you didn't know is when you told God yes, you became impregnated with the glory. You didn't know that. Your innocence, like Mary, it was a visitation, and you accepted it, but you really accepted it as just something that was normal. But you, you forgot that the story of Mary was Mary had to run for her life to protect the Elobase, her baby. When the king heard there's another king coming, every little baby under the age of two was getting murdered, looking for the one baby. I need you to understand that much of the persecution that you have been under is because the devil wants your baby. 
He don't want you to walk in the statues that your heart have told God yes. He don't want you to believe God to the end as your heart have told God yes. And your innocence have said, all I'm trying to do is just serve the Lord. Your innocence have said, I just want to bless the Lord. I don't understand why I'm going through so much. Because the Lord is saying that I'm setting time and people up. Because it's time for the church to give birth in a greater glory. He's given me everything I wanted. Everything I've needed is more than enough for all of the days that I pleaded and it's sweeter than I could imagine me, greater than I could conceive by giving him my heart, trusting and believing. He's given me everything I wanted, everything I needed is more than enough for all of the days that I pleaded and it's sweeter than I could imagine, greater than I could conceive by giving him my heart. 